So guys, for today's video, we are going to talk on how to apply Indian Visa Online or the Electronic Travel Authorization or e-Visa. Just visit the website, this one, www.indianvisaonline.gov.in And guys, don't forget, you need to prepare these two requirements. Scan copy of passport. And the 2x2 two two pictures, digital copies, 2x2 two two pictures with white background, so we can proceed the application. And then, I will gonna guide you step by step. Okay, let's go now to the website. Type www.indianvisaonline.gov.in So, ito na yung front page ng authorized portal for visa application to India. Indian Visa Online. So, scroll down tayo. Click for e-visa by Bureau of Immigration. Apply here. Ayan. So, hahanapin natin yung e-visa. Apply here. Scroll, scroll down tayo. Ayan. Ayan pala guys. E-visa application process. Four steps only. Apply online, pay e visa online, receive electronic travel authorization online, then fly to India. Ayan, e tourist visa. This is for 30 days only. Ayan, Up, click apply here for e visa. Ayan, guys, so ito yung waging itsura ng registration form. And then, as you can see, mayroong passport type. Select passport type, your nationality, port of arrival. This is the destination in India. Date of birth, email ID, expected date of arrival in India, and sele select visa service, e-tourist visa. Then, enter the above text, and then continue. And then, for the second page, this is the applicant details form. So, may nakalagay dito, surname exactly as in your passport, given name exactly as in your passport. Ayan, fill up natin to lahat. Dapat accurate po para hindi po tayo magka-problema kasi once na mali po tayo ng letra, makakos po yun ng rejection ng ating pag-apply sa visa. So, double check po lahat. And then, next po is passport details, passport number, place of issue, date of issue. Ayan, lahat po ating fill up on. And then guys, may nagita kayong save and continue and save and temporary exit. For example, may emergency emergency nangyari tapos hindi niyo matapos yung application. You can you can choose save and temporarily exit. And then if you want to continue, click save and continue. So, proceed tayo sa third page. Ayan. And guys, take note. Please note down the temporary application ID. Ayan po, oh. Meron tayong application ID. Please do screenshot for uh, masecure natin yung application ID at the same. So, ayan guys, applicant address details. Sa lahat ito, ang ating fill up pad. Family details, ayan. Father's details, mother details. Ayan, applicant's marital status. You can save and continue or save and temporary exit. Ayan. Okay, so let's proceed to the fourth page. And for the fourth page, okay, it is the details of visa sat. So, type of visa, visa service in tourist, place to be visited in India. So, for example, sa akin is Chennai. So, ilalagay natin dyan. 
Ayan, nakikita natin. Ayan ulit. Port of arrival in India. Lagay natin. Expected port of exit from India. For example, Chennai. So, ilagay din natin. Ayan, basahin natin mabuti. Tapos, si fill up on. Ayan po. Nakalagay dito. Have you ever visited India before? If yes, click yes. If no, click no. And then, please state the address during your last visit in India. Ayan. And so, for other information, countries visited in last 10 years. So, bigyan ko kayo ng example. Um, last year, I went to Hong Kong. So, diligay ko din siya. Kasi pasok pa din siya sa last 10 years, guys. So, nagpunta din ako Qatar. And di pa, last 2 years, so nilagay ko din. Kasali na din yun. Makikita kasi yun sa passport record natin, guys. Yung history travel natin, guys. So, dapat maging honest tayo dito. So, ayan. Meron din SARC, S-A-A-R-C, country visit details. And then, reference, name in India. So, kung meron tayong i-meet doon na ating fiancé or spouse, so, ilagay natin yung reference name at address nila doon at phone number. Ayan, guys. Kompletuhin at dapat accurate yung information para hindi tayo magka-error at ma-reject ang ating visa application online. So, you can save and continue or click save and temporary exit. So, proceed na tayo guys sa 5th page registration. So, ito po. Please note down the temporary application ID. And please provide below given details. Please give details if mark yes. So, basahin ito. If yes, yes. And no, no. Check, I attest. And save and continue. So, dito na tayo sa 6th page registration. Okay, so upload the 2x2 photo. Kindly ensure that the photo is as per specifications mentioned below. In case you are not ready for photo upload, you can do it later. Please note down the temporary application ID. Okay, so ito yung photo specification, guys. Please took screenshot po. Advice lang po, please uh, magpa-picture na tayo sa professional photographer para sure po yung dimension size are correct. So, dito na tayo sa 7th page, it document upload. Ito yung scanned copy of passport. Guys, dapat naka-PDF po yung scanned copy ng passport natin. At meron din silang specification. Ayan, this took screenshot po. Nandiyan po lahat. Ilagay nila yung minimum size ng scanned copy mo at maximum size. So, ayan po. And then, continue tayo. Ayan na po yung sa 8th page, verification. So, ito na guys. Check nyo mabuti kung tama po ang nailagay natin sa ating form. Ayan. Kung merong may mali, pwede po natin itong ma-edit. So, ayan. Check. Basahin mabuti. Applicant details. Passport details. Applicant address. Family details. Details of visa sat other information yard so double check okay click verified and continue continue kung taba if you want to edit guys click modify yan ha okay so 9 page ito na guys last na po ito na yung for payment yes you have two options guys you can pay now or you can pay later yan so, it's up to you guys kung magbayad na kayo. Okay, just read po yung disclaimer. Ayan. Basahin mabuti. And then, yung, uh, basahin po yung undertaking. Ayan. So, ayan po guys. Tapos na po yung registration online. Good luck po guys! So, ba pagkatapos natin mag-register online, ay may na-receive akong email at ito na po yun acknowledgement po. Ayan. Basahin natin. Ayan po. E-visa application may take up to 7 to 2 hours or equivalent to 3 days. So, maghintay tayo ng result po. Maximum 3 days.
Pero guys, after 24 hours ay may na-receive ako email status regarding e-visa application number. Your application for Indian e-visa has been processed with the following result. So, ito na guys. Application status granted. Ayan, di ba? Sa so, date of issue of electronic travel authorization, October 18, 2021, and date of expiry of electronic travel authorization, February 15, 2022. Okay. So, please confirm that your ETA status is shown as granted on our official website. So, ikiklik natin to color blue na link, guys. So, ito na guys. Ito na po yung itsura ng aking electronic travel authorization. So, pwede na po itong iprint at ito po yung dadalhin ko para ipakita ko sa immigration po. Ayan. So, good luck po sa inyo guys. Bye! Hello guys and hello world! Welcome to Sasha sa Vlog! Ako nga pala si Rachel. At sa mga bago pa po sa aking channel at hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified in every new uploaded videos. Yes! Okay? Thank you so much, guys!